Today's drug is Momantine. Brand name, Nomenda, Nomenda XR, also available in titration packs. The therapeutic category is that it's an N-methyl-D-aspartate, or NMDA, antagonist. The main indication for memantine is the confusion and dementia related to Alzheimer's disease in moderate to severe cases. It is important to note that it does not cure, but may improve the patient's ability to perform daily functions, as well as increase their awareness and memory. Dosage form, strength, and dosing. Dosage form is the capsule extend and release 24 hours, which comes in a 7 mg, 14 mg, 21 mg, and 28 mg strength. The next dosage form is solutions, which comes in a 2 mg per milliliter concentration and a 10 mg per 5 milliliter concentration. Another dosage form is the tablet, which comes in a 5 mg and 10 mg tablet. Dosing for Alzheimer's type, dementia, and confusion. The immediate release tablet, you initiate 5 mg by mouth every day, then increase by 5 mg each week with a target dose of 20 mg per day, which is divided every 12 hours. For the extended release capsules, initiate 7 mg by mouth every day, then increase by 7 mg each week with a target dose of 28 mg per day. Special Populations and Considerations In the renally impaired, the AUC, the area under the curve, which is the concentration in blood plasma in patients, The AUC increases by 4% in mild renal impairment, 60% in moderate renal impairment, and 115% in severe renal impairment. The elimination half-life increases by 18% in mild, 41% in moderate, and 95% in severe renal impairment. If the patient suffers from mild to moderate renal impairment, no dosage adjustments are required. If the patient suffers from severe renal impairment, which is classified as a creatinine clearance between 5 and 29 milliliters per minute, decrease the dose to 14 milligrams per day if extended release and 5 milligrams twice a day if immediate release. In patients that are hepatically impaired, the elimination half-life increased by approximately 16% in patients with moderate impairment. Women have a 45% greater exposure to the drug than in men, and there have been adverse effects regarding pregnancy seen in animals. Mechanism of Action and Pharmacology It is proposed that glutamate is the primary excitatory amino acid in the central nervous system. There are various NMDA glutamate receptors located throughout the brain. Under normal conditions, glutamate receptors are blocked by magnesium ions until depolarization is induced. An overstimulation of the receptor prevents magnesium ions from re-entering the cell and results in chronically opening calcium influx. It is believed that the overstimulation of glutamate contributes to neuronal cell death and Alzheimer's disease. Memantine uncompetitively antagonizes the NMDA glutamate receptors and blocks the receptor, like magnesium does under normal conditions. Regarding absorption, memantine is absorbed well. The distribution is between 9 and 11 liters per kilogram. Regarding metabolism, it is partially metabolized hepatically independent of the SIP system. The excretion is 74% excreted in the urine. Regarding time to peak, in serum, the immediate release form peaks in 3 to 7 hours and the extended release formulation in 9 to 12 hours. The half-life elimination is between 60 and 80 hours and this drug is 45% protein bound. Side Effects The main side effects that occur between 1 to 10% of patients is hypertension, hypotension, weight gain, abdominal pain, constipation, diarrhea, vomiting, aggressive behavior, anxiety, confusion, depression, dizziness, and drowsiness. 
Some of the serious side effects is Stevens-John syndrome and hypersensitivity reactions. Drug interactions. The first to mention are alkaline agents such as potassium citrate, calcium carbonate, sodium lactate, and calcium acetate. The next major class for drug interactions is the carbonic anhydrase inhibitors such as acetylzolamide and methazolamide. Both alkaline agents and carbonic anhydrase inhibitors increase serum concentrations of memantine. Monitoring parameters. Monitor the patient's cognitive function and functional outcomes, as well as monitor the hepatic and renal function. Patient counseling information. It's important to let the patient or the caregivers know that this drug is used to treat, not cure, the dementia and confusion seen in patients with Alzheimer's disease. Memantine can be taken with or without food. If it's the capsule, it may be opened and sprinkled on a spoonful of applesauce. Do not crush or chew it. If a dose is missed, do not double dose. Just take the next dose as directed.